I'm so sorry guys, can we take a moment to appreciate how beautiful and long my hair is? Because I never thought my hair would ever be this long. Gorgeous. Shout out to the babes for filming it. Okay, bye. Fun, right, baby? Excited about the safari. Uh, safari. Safari. Ooh. You want to take a quick little break? Yeah. Take a quick little break. Free from high blood pressure, heart, back, or neck problems. I have all of those. <laughs> Alrighty then. Roof. Do not make excessive noise. That can stress out the animals. That sounds right. Those are my food. I'm coming. We are almost ready to board you on our safari vehicles yeah. and I wanted to make certain I told you about our loading procedures. Before you actually enter the loading area, please complete the nearest attraction and just call to any and any of the drinks. outside the truck please do let me know i'll see if our warden can retrieve them but i cannot guarantee the condition you will get them back in finally please refrain from calling out to the animals in any way this is their home and we are their guests so we want to respect that as much as possible that being said we are now entering the little eternity forest over on the right we have a couple of Okabe. Well, the Okabe looks like they would be related to the zebra. They are actually not, but they are very closely related to the giraffe. And over to the left we have a saddlebelt stork. The saddlebelt stork is named for that young
Over to the left, we have a black rhino. Black rhinos are one of the th smaller species of rhinos. Like oh, yeah, I see it. These rhinos are solitary. You usually won't see more than one black rhino hanging out together and left with a mother and a baby. On the other side of the track, you can see some bongos. Bongos are known as the ghosts of the forest because they are rarely ever seen. Please remain fully seated at all times. Uh, after you 
dogs are the most successful carnivores in the savanna. They will chase their prey as a team until it drops from exhaustion. On the right, we have Hartman Mountain Zebras are identified by the lighter stripe pattern on their hind legs and their white underbellies. If you've ever wondered if the zebra is white with black stripes or black with white stripes, I can tell you that these are black with white stripes. You can tell because of their black noses. Mm. Please don't click at the animals. like puzzle pieces. These giraffes are born at about six feet tall, so an infant giraffe is already taller than I will ever be. They also sleep just 30 minutes a day and not even 30 consecutive minutes. They take a couple minute cat naps throughout the day for a grand total of about 30 minutes of sleep in every 24 hour period. Wow. So dormen 30 hours, 30 minutes al day
species of flamingos. They're also the lightest in that pink color. Flamingos get their pink color from their diet, which consists mostly of shrimp. However, it can take them up to two years to achieve that full pink color. Do it carefully. There are some fluffy little gray flamingos in that mix. Those are babies. They just hatched several months ago. Oh, I see them, yeah. So can I find out for the color strings? Is that normal how you are? You can see an African elephant through the trees there on the left. A couple of them. African elephants are identified by the shape of their ears. Their ears are shaped roughly like the continent of Africa. And you might have noticed that those elephants were flapping their ears. That is to help them cool down. Just by flapping their ears, an elephant can cool down up to 15 degrees. Over to the left, we have some cheetahs. Cheetahs are the fastest cats in the world. They can go from 0 to 60 miles an hour in just 3 seconds. But they can only maintain this speed for a couple of hundred yards. They are also the only cats to hunt during the daytime. They were built for speed and not ostriches. Ostriches are the largest birds in the world. And on the left we have a female lion. Looks like she's going back down for a nap. Lions sleep 16 to 20 hours a day and they are nocturnal, so usually when you see them, they are sleeping. Usually found in groups, a group of rhinos is called a crash because rhinos have really bad eyesight, so they crash into things a lot. And a fun fact about those ostriches is their eyeballs are bigger than their brains. care of the animals here on the reserve and he's got some animals of his own here too. If you look on the left we have some Nigerian dwarf goats. These goats are small but they are fully grown. That's about as big as they get. These are domesticated goats. They are often kept as pets because they are very cute and they're very playful. A lot of times you'll see them running around, headbutting each other, playing. Unfortunately, our safari is very quickly coming to you. One of the easiest things that we can all do is just reduce, reuse, and recycle. And one thing you might not think of when you think of recycling is your use of electronics. Many African habitats are destroyed mining for a substance called coltan, which can be found in your electronics. But thankfully, the substance is recyclable. So something as simple as turning those electronics in to be recycled when you're done with them can help reduce the need for coltan mining, thus protecting these animals and their habitats. It's water. More than close.
found a Starbucks. We found the conversation. So here we are. We order our tentras with no ice, ice on the side. That way we have literally like three drinks each. Right, babe? Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Why don't we just hold this one and, and use one? No, baby. No, okay. No, okay. Toma. Yeah, I know, but I'm going to Thank you, baby. Thank you. 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 Thank I, I really wanted a refreshing coffee, but at the end of the day, coffee dehydrates you. At the end of the day, coffee dehydrates you. So since coffee dehydrates you, I just I opted not to go to the coffee route. And so just got me a nice little refresher.